While the Prime Minister was dealing in delicate diplomacy abroad, at home, this former Prime Minister was preparing to do anything but. Sir John Major ensured attention didn't divert too far from Boris Johnson's domestic troubles as he launched a blistering attack over lockdown parties in Downing Street. At number 10, the Prime Minister and officials broke lockdown laws. Brazen excuses were dreamed up. Day after day, the public was asked to believe the unbelievable. Ministers were sent out to defend the indefensible, making themselves look gullible or foolish. The repeated charge that there is one law for the government and one for everyone else is politically deadly, and it has struck home. But while his mind's made up, the police are yet to decide whether or not Boris Johnson broke lockdown rules. They've sent out questionnaires to 50 people alleged to have attended up to 12 gatherings. And back in Poland, while Mr Johnson was happy to give his view on Sir John Major's criticism... That is, that is demonstrably untrue. ..he was unwilling to answer whether or not he himself had received a police questionnaire. I'm going to have plenty to say about all that so uh, when, the, pro answer. when the process is complete. And, and I think it would be wrong, frankly, to comment uh, on all of that until the process is complete. I do think people understand that. He is, though, expected to receive one, and with it the prospect of a fixed penalty notice that would confirm the PM broke the law. It would then be decision time for Tory MPs. I can see a divide now between those that are quite prepared to go out and defend the indefensible and those that are obviously very, very uncomfortable now doing that. And so sooner or later, this has just got to come to a head. Sir John Major is no fan of Boris Johnson, but the strength of his attack today was designed to convince others to join him. He knows only current Conservative MPs can deal the fatal blow to the Prime Minister, who tonight returned to Downing Street to live to fight another day, preparing for bigger battles ahead. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10.